Hello and welcome. I want to reintroduce myself. My name is Junaid Ahmed. Junaid rhymes with lemonade, and I am a home studio architect. Now, that didn't just come out of nowhere. It was a lot of time spent in not only my own studio, but also in other people's studios, in which I helped them create a place where they can be themselves, create the content that they love, and really bring value to others in their lives. Now, just as a 22, as 2022 wraps up, wraps up, it's been 12 months of lots of work, lots of numbers, lots of amazing things happening. And I just want to tell you that it has not been possible without the help of the amazing friends, the amazing family, the amazing support that I've gotten from all the people around me. Now, who are these people? Let me tell you. I've done over 507 Zoom calls just based on what's on my calendar just in 2022. That is insane. For the podcast, I recorded 127 interviews. These are all recorded, of which a lot of them are already published but more to come as the year uh, progresses into the 2023. Of those 500 calls, 130 of these calls were 20 minute discussions that either went to 30 minutes or sometimes 40 minutes, just so I, so I can understand the people around me, the people that want to be a guest on my podcast, the people that want to work with me, the people that want to be part of my masterminds. And 200 of these calls or mastermind calls. I value people. I value the human connection. And without these connections, we're not able to move forward. You can push a boulder all by yourself, or you can have a team working with you. You can have uh, members of the entrepreneur community, of the podcast community, be there with you to support you all along the journey. In these calls, 20 of these were home studio consultations. I helped people set up their home studios and 30 of these were studio consults helping people set up their go box studios. All right, let's like take a look at the numbers on the podcast. 2506 minutes of new content published on the podcast for Hacks and Hobbies. That's 98% more than other people in the business category. And I didn't know that I was going to accomplish this. I just knew that I had to put out the content. I had to create the space. I had to bring on the people that truly brought value to me. And I'm so, so thankful for them to giving me that opportunity. Now, the podcast has been listened to over 16 countries all over the world. It's 20% most shared globally, of which 90% were directly linked directly to the website and the podcast. So super excited for that. That's 46% more hours spent on the podcast than last year, with a total of uh, <clears throat> plays coming down to 40,000 plays on the podcast. On the YouTube front, I haven't spent a whole bunch of time, but I'm super excited to see that I'm sitting at 235 new YouTube subscribers, 6,000 brand new views, and 219 hours of watch time. That brings me a total of new 55 new subscribers just in 2022, and I hope to make that number shine next year as we gear up for podcasting for YouTube. And bring that podcast to the YouTube. On the Facebook front and Instagram, a total of 3,917 Facebook reach, 148,000 in, 148, Instagram reach, a total of uh, 1,315 Facebook followers and 1,722 Instagram followers, of which 40% are women and 60% men. To round this off, LinkedIn had a total of 64 total new posts, 1,411 engagements, uh, 1,019 favorites, and 392 total comments. Super 
Awesome. And some of the main topics that I talked about throughout the year were all around podcasting, family values, home studios, and storytelling. The reason storytelling is so important and family is so important because without family and without story, you have nothing. And if you listen to every single of those 2,506 minutes of the podcast, you'll hear a lot of stories. You'll hear a lot of family talk. And you'll hear a lot of people coming and talking from the bottom of their hearts what really inspired them to move the needle forward. So I'm looking forward to sharing these stats again uh, throughout the year and <clears throat> not just the stats, but the stories that we got to uh, listen to on the podcast, as well as the different activities we get to do. And there's a total of, I think, seven, total of four events that I got to participate this year in 2022. I've got four tags right here. Webinar Con, uh, we had PodFest, Social Media Marketing World, and uh, uh, Traffic and Conversion were the four main events I got to visit. Uh, I got to meet some good friends and uh, got to build some studios in person. 2022 was a pretty good year. But, you know, all these numbers are amazing. But I think what is really important is the bonds and the friendships that you build over the year and i'm so excited and so thankful for all of the friends that i got to make and uh, people that i got to hang out with over the year i want to close this year out with uh, being grateful being thankful to my family to my friends to my podcaster uh, guest podcast guests that came on uh, to the podcast and uh Everyone that's touched my life and given me opportunity and engagement and supported me through this entire experience. 2023 is going to be pretty hot and uh, I want to close this out. Thank you so much. You know, <clears throat> as I close this out today, uh, yesterday on the 29th of February, we found out that uh, my wife's uncle passed away. So I just want to tell you to be as close as you can be. To be as close as you can with the people that you love. Because we never know who's going to leave us. There's been a lot of uh, crazy things happening over the years. And uh, we've had a lot of people with us that are no longer with us anymore. So uh, make sure you tell the people that are around you that you love them and you care for them and keep moving forward. All right, thanks so much, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.